So hello everybody and welcome to another day of 25 days of Dice Fridays challenge. If you don't know what that is, just go down below and check the link with all the details. It's never too late to start, okay? If you want to know how I solve day 15 or you're stuck, this is the video for you. Let's get started. Okay, day 15. The question was how many customers purchased only queso cabrales? Nothing else. In the order, the only product they have on the basket, it was queso cabrales. So I'm not talking about the amount, just the product, okay? So we're going to solve it the same way as we always do. First without DAX, then with DAX. And to do it without DAX is a little bit, mm, it's not so straightforward, but it's always possible to check your calculations. Now, how many customers purchase only queso cabrales? How do you frame that question in order to be able to calculate it? If you would do it without DAX, one way to do it is, number one, how many customers purchase queso cabrales? Right? So they have in the already queso cabrales. And the other one is how many customers purchase just one product? You put them together and then you have how many customers purchase only queso cabrales. You follow me? So let's do this without DAX and then we will get the DAX thing going. So how many products, how many customers purchase only one product per order, right? We've done that already. So we're going to go to order ID, customer ID, and then we want to do a product ID, where are you my dear? And we're going to count. And we want to know to, you know, reduce this list so the count of product ID is one. So now I have a list of customers that purchase only one product on their order, right? Now, I want to have a list of customers that purchase queso cabrales. So we're going to get the customer ID and the product ID. And the product ID should be 11. 11 is queso cabrales. So these are the list of customers that has purchased we're going to also put order ID because we're going to need that when we do. So this is the list of customers that has on their order queso cabrales. This is the list of customers that have only one product order. If we do, no, I mean, we cannot put this together without Excel. So I have actually downloaded both tables in Excel. You see, this is the one with queso cabrales. This is the one with one order. And I've just done a VLOOKUP. So you said, okay, go to the table and if it match, return the order ID, the customer ID. And as you can see, there is one, two, three, four, five customers that purchased only queso cabrales, okay? So we need to do this exact same thing in the hacks. How? Not the easiest thing in the world, but I'll show you. Okay, so for... Doing this with DAX, we're going to calculate one table, and then we calculate the other one, and then we put these two together. There is probably a better way to do this that is faster. If you don't have a lot of rows, it doesn't matter, it will work. But this is one way. I'm just showing you that you can figure out a way and then just reproduce it in DAX. Then if this is the most effective, probably not. But let's do it. Because this is a table, we're going to go to the table tools, new table. I prefer to do it here so I see the results. And we are going to create first table one. So our table one is going to be uh, the customers with one single order. Okay. So we are going to summarize order table. We're going to get the order ID. We're going to recreate the table that we just created. Customer ID. Customer ID from the order table. There you have it. And now we're going to create our single order column, which is first is going to be or like I'm going to actually count product. Let's be real. We're going to count product, 
which is going to be the count of product ID. This is the same thing that we did before. So we're going to do return and then we're going to do single order, right? So we want to get the results of that variable. And here we have the order ID, the customer ID, and then the number of products, the same thing that we did in Excel. Now we need to filter this table so it returns where the count of product is one, so we get single orders. So we're going to go here, we're going to do filter. We've done this before in this challenge, right? In these challenges. So the count of product, which is this count of product, nothing else, right? is one and because it's a variable I need to finish this myself it won't finish it for me so now we have a list of customers that have purchased one product per order 137 if you remember we've done that calculation before now we're going to calculate Remember that this says order cast already customer ID and count product we're going to now calculate the number of customers that has purchased queso cabrales so queso cabrales purchases so this is very similar as the other one we're going to do the summarize we're going to summarize by orders order id customer id and then product id right product id and let me show you what this returns. We have three columns now, one with order ID, customer ID and product ID, but we want to filter this table so the product ID is just 11. So we're going to go up here and we're going to filter this thing where orders product ID is 11. And now we have the list of oh, customers and orders that purchase uh, queso cabrales. So now we have both tables. There is a DAX function that is called intersect that will get whatever is in here that is also in here, right? So customers that are in this table that are also in this table, and that's exactly what we want. There is a but though, let me show you. So if I go here and I put intersect and then I put single order QC purchases, it's giving me nothing. And remember, this takes this table, the entire table, and then this takes this entire table and tries to match it. And because we have here product ID and we have here count of products. We have two columns that should not be there when we're doing the intersect. This is obviously given nothing because there's nothing that's going to be equal. So we need to get the columns that we want for that first table and the second ones. So what we're going to do is to again summarize this table that we've already summarized but we're going to say hey you have that table grab only order ID and customer ID, nothing else. And if I put these, now single order, so you see what it returns. It's going to return only the two columns, not the third one. And if I do the exact same thing here, summarize, and then say it here, okay, just get, get me This is actually wrong. This has to be orders customer ID. Otherwise, you won't be able to return it here. Orders customer ID, product order ID, customer ID. So this is now going to return only this, those two columns. Let me show you. So here, instead of single order, we're going to put purchases. Oh, not product ID, order ID, my God. Right, so now I have two tables with two columns, already customer ID, and I want to find the join. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. We're going to uncomment that thing. And there we have our five customers. <laughs> okay, so now the only thing that we need to do is to count the rows right nothing more so 
I am going to copy that thing, go back here, solutions, day 14. Do we have something already on day 14? Day 15. Paste that, but I want to count rows distinct And if I put this in here, we have our five customers, okay? So we had to sweat a little bit just to be able to fit however the DAX functions actually work, but we made it, <laughs> okay? Now guys, that is probably not the easiest way to, or the most straightforward, most performance way to do it. So let me know in the comment box how you solved it the ways to solve it let me know how you're doing in the challenge and i will see you again tomorrow with day 16 take care bye